Now on Coast TV News. Townhouse talk in Lewis as a housing development is up for review for a second time by the city. In need of more rain, why Monday's rain was not enough to help out gardening businesses and how they are attempting to protect their plants. This is Coast TV News Midday. Good morning and thank you for joining us. I'm Lisa Weber and welcome to Coast TV News Midday. And this morning, a person injured from this fire in Lewis continues to recover from their injuries. As you saw first here on Coast TV News, an early Monday morning fire destroyed a house on Juniper Drive in the Sandy Bray neighborhood. Firefighters say the person in that home was rescued and then taken to the hospital. We are still awaiting information about how this fire started. And we're going to take a live look outside into Milford right now. And our first alert meteorologist, Bob Trey, he is going to join us. Bob, it's beautiful outside right now, but this morning at the inlet, it was windy. It was cold. Uh, I saw that, Elisa. I saw you getting buffeted by the wind out on the coast, gusty winds. and uh, But you were a trooper, hung in there, did very well. But we're looking at sunshine now. You saw a few of those cumulus clouds on the camera. And temperatures really haven't risen much from this morning. 59 in Salisbury, 57 in Del Mar and Georgetown, 57 in Redden. 58 for Milton right now and temperatures not rising too much more as we have a northwest wind pretty strong, especially along the coast. Sustained winds at least 20 miles per hour at Indian River Inland and Ocean City. And we're seeing gusts now to 23 in Georgetown, 32 in Ocean City and 16 in Bethany Beach, 33 at IR Inlet. So uh, make sure you secure those outdoor items. We're looking at clear skies and with the lower humidity today and those winds, a higher fire danger. We have some of those cumulus clouds coming through. Otherwise, a cold Cold front continues to press off to the south and east. Much colder air is building in, even some lake effect snow downwind of the uh, lakes right now as we have strong high pressure building in across the Midwest. So here's future cast. We've got the green and orange and red arrows indicating the strong winds. Temperatures only rising another degree or so into the upper 50s, middle 50s at the coast, and then cooling down later in the afternoon by four. We're only into the 50s and then it's getting dark and temperatures dipping into the 40s with breezy conditions. So lots of sunshine as we go into the afternoon, but those strong winds sustained at least 15 miles per hour, gusting over 30 at times. So breezy and chilly the next few days, a rain chance end of the week, and then a weekend warm up. Much more in your forecast coming up a little bit later in the newscast. As Bob just showed us, we are about to have another dry day. And for the Inland Bays Garden Center, they say the rain helped their plants significantly and are hopeful fewer plants have to go to what they call the emergency room, where plants are taken care of if they are in need of some help. It's been difficult here at the garden center because plants and pots will require a lot more attention and of course a lot more watering. So uh, the rain was definitely godsend for us uh, down here at Inland Bays. And it was just last week we had the red flag warnings as the drought continues. And we are now getting more data showing the impact of the drought and the Georgetown Fire Company says it responded to approximately 20 calls just from the past weekend. A majority of those calls were brush, woods, and other outside fires. Despite Monday's rain, the statewide burn ban in Delaware is still in effect. And in New Jersey, fire crews are continuing to battle wildfires. The smoke has cleared in some areas of New Jersey, but in Passaic County, which is an area that is closer to New York, there is still a 3,000-acre fire that is 10% contained so far. Fire crews and other fire management officials are coordinating efforts to try and prevent further spread of that fire, and that's the result of historically dry conditions in the region. Like here on Delmarva, the area did receive some recent rainfall, but not enough to stop the blaze from raging in some areas. And happening today, the latest proposed housing development is getting another look by Lewis's Planning Commission. It's called the Overfall Preserve, and the location is on Savannah Road and Atlantic Drive, in an area behind the new assisted living on Kings Highway. The site plan calls for the construction of 90 townhouses, and this is the second time the commission is taking this up, and it will be at their meeting tonight at the Roland Center. And as President-elect Trump is shaping up his administration, announcing his first cabinet picks and appointees expected to fulfill his emergency and immigration promises made on the campaign trail, NBC's Bree Jackson shows us Democrats on Capitol Hill are bracing for a second Trump term as President Biden prepares to host President-elect Trump at the White House on Wednesday. A week after Election Day and President-elect Trump is filling his cabinet. Mr. Trump is expected to tap Senator Marco Rubio for Secretary of State, although sources say he could still change his mind. 
Trump is also seeking to fulfill one of his top campaign promises, naming Tom Homan as the border czar who will lead his mass deportation efforts. If you're in the country illegally, you shouldn't feel comfortable, absolutely not. I won't feel comfortable if I'm in the country illegally. Homan sending a stern warning to governors opposed to the plan. They better get the hell out of the way. Either you help us or get the hell out of the way. Homan's message, a possible sign of things to come under Trump's second term. The president-elect meets with President Biden Wednesday to discuss a peaceful transition of power. Meanwhile, Democrats on Capitol Hill are preparing to fight back against policies proposed under Trump's second term. Stephen Miller and Tom Homan uh, uh, were the architects of a lot of the first Trump administration horrific immigration policies. And so family separation, um, mass detentions, those kinds of things is, is what was promised and by the Trump administration and I think what we're going to have to fight. Senator-elect Ruben Gallego won Arizona. The GOP has an edge in both the Senate and the House. Senate Republicans are gearing up for a leadership battle. President-elect Trump urging those vying for majority leader to allow recess appointments where he could install certain positions without Senate confirmation. This preemptive effort uh, to um, install cabinet members by recess appointments, this is a Trump feature. Senators will vote on a majority leader Wednesday. In Washington, Bree Jackson, NBC News. Coming up, medical marijuana, how one company is working to provide veterans with what they call holistic healing. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division, like myself and Tile, to ensure that you have the best product to fit your needs. And that your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your remodel. I was able to look at everything that I was looking for from my new kitchen, including the backsplash and the countertop and the sinks, all in one place. Del Marva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Middays with April Brilliant. It's a feel-good show on your radio. April is the easiest way to get through my workday. She plays my favorite songs. She helped me find my furry friend. She's always making me smile. Listening to April is the best way to get through my workday. She makes me feel special. Middays with April, weekdays from 10 to 3 on Coast Country 1039 and 1063. Sponsored by Critter Getters. This is Dean Bennett of Bennett Termite and Pest Solutions. People ask me how did bed bugs get into my home. Bed bugs can hitch a ride in your luggage or on your clothes. They can even be hidden in a piece of used furniture that you bring into your home. When you've seen one, it's already too late and the damage has begun. However they got there, we can eliminate them with our green and effective heat and treat system. Remember Delmarva, quality isn't expensive, it's priceless. Treat yourself to a culinary journey like no other at Benvenuto. Delaware Today named Benvenuto as a 2023 Best of Delaware Dining and Event Restaurant, where the perfect fusion of comfort, exquisite flavors, and a captivating atmosphere awaits you. Our passion for exceptional cuisine shines through every dish as we artfully combine international flavors and fresh, locally sourced ingredients. With stunning spaces and a private room for special occasions, our breathtaking Tuscan design sets the stage for an unforgettable dining experience. Benvenuto Restaurant in Milford. Lost. This dog came to us without a collar or tag and no chip. Sick. He took the dog to the vet, which he didn't have to do. And in serious trouble. Patient in critical condition, likely heat stress, prognosis, poor. They had her put down just three hours after finding her. They claimed that I'm a bad owner. You are a bad owner. You neglected your dog. It ended up dead. Next Judge Judy. Tuesday at 2 on Coast TV. Yesterday was Veterans Day, and people honor veterans in a number of ways. But for the cannabis company, providing access to medical marijuana is how they honor our service members. The company hosted a donation drive campaign with all proceeds going to Weed for Warriors. They say it's an important step in healing our veterans. As, you know, the daughter of a Vietnam Marine veteran, um, my grandfather was a World War II veteran, um, I've seen the, the difference that, that it makes firsthand. Um, within my own family.
Traffic is once again flowing on the Mississippian River drawbridge in Milford. This after a combine hit the bridge and then hit it. Work is underway to install a warning system to prevent scenes like we just saw. The system is called Clankers and the bridge has been closed due to being hit a number of times by different trucks. And after being inspected by engineers and the stuck combine was removed, the bridge was then reopened to traffic. And this morning, work scheduled to resume on the Millsboro Bypass Project. The latest work has closed the intersection of Route 20 and Betts Pond Road at US 113. The closures are needed to help build the new bypass construction ramps. And we are showing you on this map right now the area that is being affected, and those lane closures are on Route 113 are set to end later today. And the bypass and ramp construction are expected to complete by late summer 2025. And happening today, the planning of improvements for a key intersection in Harbison. It's where Route 5 and Cool Springs Road meet, and that is the area we are going to show you on this map right now. Delta is hosting a public workshop for this intersection. The agency says it wants to make it safer and will show some alternative ideas suggested at the workshop. And that will go from 4 to 6. We're seeing a lot of sunshine out there on the HSB camera. A few little puffy cumulus clouds and a flock of birds as well. 57 in Cambridge and your temperature's not moving all that much into the afternoon. See some of the white caps out on Chesapeake Bay. It's chilly and breezy out there. Dig out the warm clothes. It will be colder the next few days, so yeah, make sure you bundle up. In case you missed it earlier, here's our umbrella giveaway winner today. Kimberly Ryan from Harpeson. Congratulations to her. Brand new umbrella from Paul Davis and Coast TV. I'll have the latest on the chill and rain chances later in the week. That's coming up in your forecast after the break. Hi, I'm Delaware Insurance Commissioner Trinidad Navarro. Making decisions about your Medicare coverage can be difficult. So, the Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau is here to help. Thousands of Delawareans with Medicare come to us for free one-on-one -on -one assistance with navigating the complex and confusing insurance system. We can help you too. Call our Delaware Medicare Assistance Bureau at 302-674-7364 today. This is my legacy! The Camry legacy is earned through decades of continuous improvement. For timeless cars and lasting memories. Right now, buy a Camry with 3.99% APR. This is my legacy. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome to the brand new Bath by Spicer Brothers showroom. Experience the future of bathroom remodeling. Bath by Spicer Brothers is Delmarva's exclusive BCI Elite dealer, offering more selections, styles, and colors, including options like the laser etched tile pattern system. Made in the USA, built for beauty and performance, our baths are durable, mold resistant, and guaranteed for life. With no money down, no interest, and no payments until 2026, you have no reason to wait. Call Bath by Spicer Brothers today because you deserve the best. At Homewell, our caregivers are compassionate, our care managers are responsive, and our process is built on honest and open communication. This process is what gives us the ability to fulfill our purpose and ensures your peace of mind remains our top priority. Homewell Care Services. Trusted care. True compassion. DSM Plus is more action. Four additional live stream games every weeknight and full replays on demand. DSN Plus is more local. Five live games every weeknight, showcasing high school showdowns and regional rivalries across Delmarva. DSN Plus is more access. Watch on your mobile devices and remember, DSN is still free over the air and on cable. But get more with DSN Plus, just $6.99 a month. Download the Delmarva Sports Network app from your app store today. We're seeing lots of sunshine on this Tuesday morning, but it's deceiving. You get out there and it's breezy and chilly. Here's our camera from Laurel, Tendrils Casual Furniture Cam, and we've got blue skies, a few little cumulus clouds for decoration, 57 degrees, but a brisk northwest wind making it feel much cooler, and temperatures really not going anywhere today, maybe up to about 58 early afternoon, and then sliding back down as we go later into the afternoon. Weather headlines, quite chilly and breezy out there. Bundle up, and especially tomorrow morning, 
Temperatures in the 30s coupled with the breeze. The wind chill will feel like 20s and 30s at that time. Do want to mention too, the fire danger is still elevated. Yes, we had that rain from yesterday morning, but still pretty dry out there, so no burning until further notice. So it's strongly discouraged. And then rain chances later in the week, I think Thursday night into Friday morning, we have a chance of some measurable rain. A lot, no, but we'll take anything at this point. Temperatures now, we're in the 50s, pretty much have not moved much since this morning. Maybe warmed up a few degrees, 59 in Salisbury, 57 Bethany Beach, Rehoboth 56, and right now Milton 58. And those winds are strong out of the northwest, around 10 to 20 miles per hour, sustained 24 miles per hour, Indian River Inlet and Ocean City at 22. And we're seeing gusts over 30 miles per hour in Ocean City and Indian River Inland and even inland when gusts over 20 miles per hour. So, well, make sure for one thing you don't burn and make sure those outdoor items are secured because they might move around a little bit today. We're looking at clear skies for the most part on the visible satellite picture. Just a few little cumulus clouds popping up across the area. Otherwise, we've had a series of cold fronts moving through behind that front. It's a strong northwest wind, in fact, and colder air. That colder air over the warmer Great lakes kicking off some snow showers across upstate and New York. So that's just telling us how cold this air mass is with high pressure over the Great Lakes sprawling area of high pressure and that will keep us chilly the next couple of days. So future cast by noon may be rising another degree or so into the upper 50s close to 60 degrees and then right along the beaches in the low to mid 50s and it will be very breezy there by 230 about 57 in Millsboro and Georgetown 55 in Bethany Beach and those temperatures cooling as we go into the evening lower 50s by 5 and then falling into the 40s overnight and still pretty breezy by tomorrow morning. It's 30s where it's all well, the winds are a little calmer from Salisbury to Seaford, but 40s at the beach is where it will be a little breezier and tomorrow will be chilly. Lots of sunshine, but highs only into the low 50s at that time. Then we move into Wednesday night It's still pretty chilly, but the clouds start to increase and we'll see temperatures in the 50s to near 60 as we go into Thursday afternoon, so a little warmer and then we're looking at a chance chance of rain with the system to our south could clip us with a few hours of rain as we go Thursday night into Friday morning. Probably not a soaking rain, but of course we'll take it and then it does start to dry out as we go into this upcoming weekend and maybe some clouds by later Sunday. As far as rainfall amounts, this would be great. Maybe another two to four tenths of an inch of rain with that event as we go into Friday morning with the gusty winds once again over 30 miles per hour times, especially along the coast. So make sure you secure those outdoor items. Otherwise, the winds do start to back off as we go into Wednesday evening and look at these feels like temperatures tomorrow morning 20s inland and feeling like 30s at the beaches 57 this afternoon sunny skies breezy and cool 33 tonight and then 53 on Wednesday Paul Davis seven day forecast clouds up on Thursday 56 some of those showers Thursday night into early Friday otherwise 57 on Friday and then for the weekend dry warming up through the 60s to about 66 on Monday and partly cloudy skies. And coming up tonight on the Delmarva Sports Network at 7, it's a replay of the Sussex Central and Smyrna High School football game. And then the final score will be at 1030. Coast TV will be right back. We're starting the anesthesia. Why don't you count down from five? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do this. Nope, I'm still Jeez, here. Come on. What is this guy, Wolverine? St. Dennis Medical, tonight on NBC and Peacock. No! Can't work at night court and not end up a little weird. Oh! Woo! Nacho guy's back. Hey, nachos! Night Court premieres next Tuesday on NBC and Peacock. At All Mobility, we keep you moving. Whether it's wheelchair accessible vans, scooters, home ramps, or lift chairs. We've got the perfect mobility solution for you. Our experts will help customize options to fit your needs and lifestyle so you can stay independent and active. Scooters, ramps, vans, and more. Get moving with All Mobility. Come see us today or schedule a home consultation. AllMobilityStore.com. At Shooter's Choice, our customers come first. Shooter's Choice is Delaware's first choice in indoor shooting. We have new inventory available, and if you don't find it in the store, we'll order it from our website and have it shipped directly to the store. We have everything you can think of available at Shooter'sChoiceDE.com. Stop by Shooter's Choice on Black Friday for these great deals. $5 off ammo, $30 off Taurus handguns, and a free pistol case with the purchase of any new firearm. At Shooter's Choice, our customers come first. Shooter's Choice, Delaware's first choice in firearms. 
the most incredible shopping on the beach. Lumi Boutique. Fashion, jewelry, and accessories as cool as an ocean breeze. You love this place. We put a smile on your face. You love this place. It's Lumi Boutique. Fashion, jewelry. Happy holidays from Blooming Boutique with four convenient locations two in Lewis, Long Neck, and Milford, and BloomingBoutique.com. Apple just began selling the iPhone 16 and 16 Pro replacement parts in its online self-service repair store. That includes cameras, which start at $169, as well as displays and batteries, among other parts. And if you don't have the tools, you can even rent one from Apple's specialized repair kits. The company has been shifting to easier repairs since it opened the self-service store in 2022. Coast TV will be right back. Join Club Ocean at Ocean Downs and get $20 free play guaranteed. We ship you not. Then use your card every time you play to earn more rewards. Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. At the Delmarva Design Center, appliances, cabinetry, countertops, tile, and flooring come together in one showroom. We have specialists in each division like myself and cabinetry to ensure that you have the best product to fit your needs. And your selection fits seamlessly with every element of your project. It was very important to find somebody that was knowledgeable in the whole picture, the cabinetry, the appliances, and the countertop. We are delighted with the outcome. Delmarva Design Center. Great design starts with great inspiration. Selbyville, Delaware. Smell funky? Get skunky! The Shower Anywhere sponges that clean all your funky parts from your head to your feet and everything in between. Just add water, work it into a rich lather, and it's ready to use. Skunky effectively lifts and removes oil and dirt from your skin and hair without any rinsing required. Just towel dry and you're done without any sticky residue. Skunky is ideal for contractors or anyone who works outdoors. A hiking, fishing, or camping trip wouldn't be complete without Skunky. Skunky is a game changer for all ages and a must for elder care. Call now and get 20 Skunky 60 second shower pads for only $9.99. But wait, order now and we'll send you five more absolutely free. That's 25 showers for only $9.99. There's a strict limit of one family pack per order at this incredibly low price. Order now. To order, call 1-800-615-9517 or visit GetSkunky.com. That's GetSkunky.com. Order now. Introducing Paisano, the authentic pizza oven by Granite Stone. Now make the world's most delicious pizza with real stone right in your own home. Mm. You simply set it and let it make golden, crispy, extra cheesy stone baked pies in under six minutes. You can get your Paisano pizza oven for just three easy payments of $39.99. Plus, we'll ship your entire order free. Call 1 800 608 5198 or order online at buypaisano.com. Airport Spa Massages. It's supposed to relieve stress, but before you get one, wait till you see what this passenger says happened to her. It was disgusting. Next, in Sun Edition. Today at 5.30 on Coast TV. There are many dangers COVID-19 can pose to a person, but a new study suggests the virus can have a significant impact on heart and brain health for years after infection. Mandy Gaither has a look at the data and explains why researchers say everyone who's had COVID-19 needs to be aware. In 2020, before vaccines were available, people who caught COVID-19 had twice the risk of a major cardiovascular problem like heart attack or stroke as those who didn't test positive, according to a new study. What was also surprising is that the um, extent of that risk did not 
show any sign of diminishing or attenuation with time. Dr. Stanley Hazen with Cleveland Clinic is co-senior study author. He says those risks in medical records studied stayed up to three years after infection, and those who had been hospitalized with severe illness from the virus were at even greater risk for heart problems. That is, if similar to the risk of someone who had one heart attack and what their risk for having a second heart attack was. Hazen says the risk also varied on blood type. Researchers say people with certain non-O blood types like A or B are already at higher risk of cardiovascular diseases, but the study found those with O type blood who were hospitalized for COVID didn't have quite as high of a risk of heart attack or stroke. While the study did not look at the effects of vaccination on cardiovascular risk, Hazen says since the severity of the COVID-19 infection is linked to long-term cardiac risk, getting protected from COVID-19 through vaccination is critical. If you have had COVID, I suggest think about heart disease and getting your cholesterol checked and your blood pressure checked. For Health Minute, I'm Mandy Gaither. We're seeing some white caps on the Indian River Bay on the gutter helmet cam right now. You're sitting at 59 degrees and we're looking at chilly conditions and breezy the next few days and a chance of some showers late week and then a dry and warmer weekend. Remember, another way to get your forecast is the Coast TV First Alert weather phone. It is sponsored by the law offices of Baird Man Dallas, Brockstead and Federico. I'll have your 10 day forecast after the break. Coverage on the road, in your community, along the coast. The IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep, live on the street, day or night. From breaking news to weather in your town, the IG Burton First Alert Weather Jeep. Coverage you can count on. Stay tuned to get a free automatic toilet bowl cleaner from Mermaid. Your sink stopper's broken, and fixing a drain is a pain. Introducing Mermaid Drain Magic, the instant solution to most broken drains. Just remove and replace. In seconds, you can fill and drain with a simple press of a button. Drain Magic makes replacing your old, broken, rusty, even missing sink stoppers fast and easy. Drain Magic's anti clogging basket helps prevent clogs in your sink, catching hair, food, even jewelry. Made with brass and chrome and a silicone gasket, it creates a watertight seal. Order your Mermaid Drain Magic today for only $19.99 and get a Mermaid toilet bowl cleaner absolutely free. Drop it in the tank for up to three months of cleaning. But wait, this could be your last chance to get Drain Magic at this low price with free toilet bowl cleaner. There's a strict limit of three, so order now. Call 1-800-944-6857 or visit drainmagic.com. So call 1-800-944-6857 or visit drainmagic.com now. It all started with a food truck. A truck and a dream of bringing excellent street food to our community. That dream became Tiki Jack's as we know it today. From mouth-watering street tacos to our signature sandwiches and street-inspired entrees, Tiki Jack's is the ultimate destination for comfort food by the shore. Whether you're dining out with family or looking for a fun night out with friends, stop by Tiki Jack's of Rehoboth Beach today for all your street eats and brews. It's an exclusive tribute. The queen, the legend, Martha Stewart! With a hometown surprise. Oh. Tuesday at noon on Coast TV. Local businesses are the lifeblood of our communities. When you're shopping for gifts this holiday season, please buy local. I'm Paige. And I'm Leah from Coast Life, and we're urging you to buy from businesses on Delmarva this holiday season. Whether it be cars, toys, or furniture. When you shop local, you support your local community, you protect local jobs, and you strengthen the local economy. So let's use our, our buying, buying power. Because together, we make Delmarva stronger. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. It's time to huddle up and talk football. We're talking touchdowns, tackles, and everything in between. From game-changing plays to the latest news around the league. We'll take a deep dive into all of the plays that made a difference. We'll see you in the end zone. Catch the end zone. Mondays at 5 on Big 1077. Sponsored by Tyndall's Casual Furniture. 
Make sure you have your sunglasses and that heavier jacket this afternoon. Blustery and chilly. Lots of sunshine up near 58 degrees early afternoon. And then as the cold air builds in temperatures sliding through the 50s into the 40s. Paul Davis 10 day forecast. We're looking at lower 30s tomorrow morning and with the wind feeling like 20s and a very chilly day on Wednesday. 53 despite sunshine. The clouds up Thursday. I think we'll see some showers Thursday night into Friday morning. Otherwise Friday 57 warming up into the weekend with sunshine through the 60s mild Monday and still pretty mild next week with uh, mainly dry conditions. So it looks like our rain shot is Thursday night, Elisa. And then that's it. Jari. Good job. And thank you for joining us here for Coast TV News Midday. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app. And don't forget to join us for Coast TV News at 5 later this afternoon. Have a great day.